Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Anastasio, Springs Team Leader for the Southwest Florida Water Management District. Today we're out here with Senior Scientist Philip Reinsmith at the Chazawiska Springs Restoration Project. Philip, what exactly is going on here? Well, we're removing sediments from the Chazawiska Head Spring Complex. Over time, from the residential canals, sand, organic materials, and other debris have made their way into the Head Springs. So really, we're cleaning it up much the way a swimming pool uh, pump works. We're taking the materials out with a vacuum hose, they get deposited in the bags and then hauled off site. And what that will result in is better water quality, uh, better aesthetic value, and hopefully more, more recreation potential for the springs. During this process, our springs team is carefully monitoring the sediments and looking for potential artifacts. That's right, Chris. As part of our permit, we're actually recovering those cultural resources. In fact, in part of the dredging process, we've recovered a sunken vessel, and that will be preserved. Once these items are identified, they will be cataloged and then returned to Citrus County for public display. This project has to happen during the summer months, partly to ensure the protection of the West Indian manatee who seek refuge in these springs during the cooler months of the year. We expect this project to be completed by the end of September. If you want to find out more information about this project or any other project by the Springs team, visit watermatters.org/springs.